Then I need a way of keeping the top of the weight open. And that's where this rack that vine comes in. And fits really are on one of the jungle god tens. Loads of energy, loads of vitamins as well. I'm hoping just my pair of trousers is going to catch some for me. That's a technique I learned from a friend of the special forces. Get some of the sand I put in the pocket. But like all fishing, it depends on a bit of luck and a lot of patience. What I can do is just sprinkle some of the grit and some of the sand and drop that in. And hopefully the fish are going to be inquisitive enough to come and try and have a nibble. <laughs> And then the idea is, I can just snag them. The thing is, I can tell. I just tell already, now this rain's picked up. Making this job of fishing a bit of a losing battle, to be honest. What's happening with all the rain, the fish are going to be heading deep. All the fish have just gone. But you know, sometimes that's just life. And you've got to smile back. This weather just feels like it's permanently against me at the moment. And this torrential rain has been like this for ages. And it's just making everything a nightmare. And I'm struggling to catch any food. Permanently wet and cold. Fire lighting is a nightmare. But man, you know, that's, that's jungle living for you. And if it's easy, everyone would just live in this ruddy place. But at the moment, it just feels like, feels like a bit of a struggle. Soaked to the skin, hungry and exhausted. The ground under my feet feels deeper as the jungle.